Over the weekend, LeBron became the first player in the NBA history to score over 40,000 points. Here's where we have to have a conversation, y'all. We got to have a conversation because I get, and, and let me let me be honest first. Let me, let me um, acknowledge this first. First, this is a, a tremendous accomplishment. This is absolutely insane, and, and you can't help but to respect it because you got to respect the greatness that's there. Nobody else is probably going to see that. It would be, You would be absolutely lucky to witness another guy even get close to breaking that type of record and getting close to even putting up 40,000 points and touching this LeBron James record because it's absolutely insane. So I want to acknowledge that first and foremost. Now, here's where the problem lies. And this is where you're going to think I'm hating. I promise you I am not hating when I say this. It's only truth and it's only facts. We know LeBron broke the all-time scoring record back in December, right? Right. You watch the game. I watch the game. I talked about it on here. If you listen, every other media outlet in the world that covers sports talked about it. Why the hell are we so hype about him breaking the 40,000 point barrier? Because, I mean, what, what did we think? We, th- we thought he was just going to stop after after breaking Kareem's 39,392 points. We thought he was just going to stop and never score again. Like, wh- what was expected after this? So, to me, like, I- I'm not really tripping about, okay, yeah, well, LeBron did it. It's not that cool or whatever. Because it is. It's amazing. But the thing I'm tripping about is why are we celebrating it as if it was unexpected? Like, I get the the whole breaking the, the most points for the NBA history. I get that part. You know, that part definitely has to be glorified because it was unexpected you know a few years ago seven years ago ten years ago it was unexpected when we were clowning LeBron about never winning a ring it was unexpected when LeBron won his first ring and his first four rings so I I get why we celebrate that but the 40,000 point barrier it just seemed like a reach man it seems like a reach, and I know people are going to use this statistic as, oh, he's the only player to, to get 40,000 points. Well, obviously, duh, he's the only fucking player to get 40,000 points because he's the, the one that's leading the NBA in total points of all time. So what did you expect? And my next question lies is, what are we going to do? Celebrate 40,100 now? 40,112? 40,113? Like, when it, come on, bro. Like, it, you, that's, this is why I say it seems like a reach because although it's a tremendous accomplishment, we've already expected this. We already expected him to get over 39,000, which was Kareem's mark. So we thought he was just going to stop. Did you think the numbers were just going to, like, you know, never continue to go? I mean, he was the first to reach anything over 30 or 38,390 points. He was the first to, to reach anything above that. So why weren't we celebrating then? When he hit the 39,000 mark, why didn't we celebrate? When he hit the 39.5 mark, why didn't we celebrate that? That's the only thing. And I'm like, I know it sounds like I'm hating, but bro, it's just the truth because, I mean, you should celebrate everything, celebrate all your accomplishments and everything. But at the same time, bro, it's just insane to me that, you know, we made this such a big deal. Like that media made this such a big deal. And people are on social media hype about it. Like, oh man, Brian is, is, is immaculate. Like, oh man, like we get it. We, we get it. He already broke the all-time scoring record, so we get it. I don't know. That's that's just me, though, man. I, I don't know. Maybe I am hating. <laughs> maybe I am. Maybe I am hating. Maybe I am a little Brian hater. 